about DHEA. It's the most abundant hormone in your body. Dr. Rob is in the house with more on why taking supplements could actually save your life. Dr. Rob, we were talking about this before we came on the air today in the office, our pre-show meeting. You know, we've seen this before, DHEA. We're not really sure what it is. Where does this even come from? You know, Zach, that's a great question. It is, in DHEA, dihydroepiandosterone, is the most abundant hormone in your body. And it's made by several different tissues. Primarily the adrenal glands, which are on top of the kidneys, produce this, but also your central nervous system and your brain. The front part of your brain, the frontal lobes, actually makes the most DHEA right from the brain cells themselves on demand when it needs it. And your levels of DHEA in the brain are six times higher than what it is actually in the bloodstream. It is one of the most important hormones that your body makes. And unfortunately, as we age, from the time you go from 30 years of age to 50, by the time you're 50, you're making 60% less oh my of this hormone that is responsible for producing all the rest of the other hormones in the androgen pathway for both men and women. So testosterone, androstenedione, estrone, estradiol, DHT, all these hormones that are important for men and women all start to decline because of this one hormone in particular. Let me ask you this, what if someone is deficient in that hormone at a really young age, say in their 20s, is that even possible? It is, and that's another great question, and we see it all the time in people suffering from adrenal fatigue or adrenal insufficiency, especially athletes. They get out there and they push it too hard. They're training football, basketball, baseball, triathlons, and they push and they push and they push the type A personalities, and they can actually deplete the levels of their DHEA that's produced from the adrenal glands, and they end up with adrenal fatigue, which is very taxing, leads to fatigue and tiredness and muscle pain and memory loss, short-term memory troubles, uh, decreased bone mineral density, increases the incidence of ischemic heart disease. So this hormone is so important in protecting your overall health from a cardiovascular standpoint to a neurovascular standpoint to just your overall sense of well-being. Yeah, we know there's nothing like the real thing for your body to naturally produce it, but you know there are shortcuts and if you really are starting to become deficient in it at an early age, there are some things that you can take. Absolutely. And the key point here is you want to make sure that your doctor tests for your levels so you know where they're at, so if you know if they're deficient, so that you can supplement with one of these. And there's different forms of DHEA. There's drops that you can take under the tongue. There's trochies that melt. There's ones that can be inserted, inserted into, the, into the body. Then there's other different kinds of capsules. There's a pharmaceutical grade called GL7010, uh, which is used in rheumatoid arthritis. And the benefits of taking this hormone is that it decreases inflammation in your body, helps increase growth hormone uh, production by about 20%, which helps with your overall sense of well-being. It helps your body, and particularly the oligodendrocytes, to make myelin, the covering on your nerves. And if you have wounds, it helps speed up the wound healing process if you're deficient by supplementing with this. So many different benefits, and you know what, you're a huge benefit to have around as well. If anybody wants to get in touch with you, what's the best way to do so? The easiest place to find us is RenewHealth.com. Dr. Rob, you're always the man helping us Good out with the plan. You, Thank you so very much you're for welcome. being here.